when we observe keepers at the zoo, it's easy to see how they tend to the physical needs of their charges. But keepers also look to the animal's mental and emotional health through enrichment. For birds, that's more complex than you might think. Enrichment is just something to get, make them feel more at home. Um, it helps them deal with being in captivity. It gives them stuff to do, stuff to play with, and different enrichment items just help them have fun. Um, a lot of it's food-based. Um, birds really like food, so we give them different types of treats and rewards and stuff like that. We'll hide their food. We'll also um, train them. Training is a big enrichment um, item. They can, they can have fun learning new things, but then we also get them to do different behaviors for us. Um, we'll also put toys like balls or um, rope swings or stuff like that for, for birds. It's a completely individual based uh, thing. Some cassowaries they would like to train, others just don't want anything to do with it. Um, also different species train differently. You'll have to use different food rewards and um, different items and different behaviors depending on what the bird is. The interacting with the animal, it lets us see how the animal would act in the wild and it kind of mimics what those types of behaviors that we don't normally get to see in the wild. All right, so what I'm going to do now is target him. It uses this little target that he has to touch with his beak, and then I'll blow a whistle to tell him he's done a good job, and then he knows a reward is coming, and that's uh, pretty much a basic training step, and that's the first process to training bigger behaviors. So, target. Target. And then we can move him throughout the exhibit doing this, so target. Something else we can do, we can get them to jump. Uh, cassowaries don't fly, but they uh, can jump up to six feet. So they're pretty good jumpers. Let's see if we can jump up here. The zoo has a wide variety of birds. And just because a bird is smaller doesn't mean it's less of a challenge. Parrots are very interactive. They like to be busy all the time. Um, I like to tell people it's kind of like having a toddler around. Um, so they like to be entertained and they like attention. So for enrichment items for them, they've, they've got to stay busy and it's got to be novel items. So they like to have a lot of different colors and a lot of different items to play with. They are very intelligent, so enrichment is important to keep them busy and to keep them entertained, essentially, so they don't get bored. Some items are natural items. We have some ginger that we like to give them. They like to shred a lot of things. And other things are untreated wood and um, it's colorful and they can chew on it and play with it. Well, I have a bird at home and I like to give him a lot of the same items at home. So I'll give him toys that are made out of untreated wood and that are different colors. Um, and you can actually dye untreated wood with Kool-Aid if you like, and that's fine. And um, it's, it's a nice safe thing for them to chew on and keep busy. I think it's fun to see them interact with different items and to see how they react to different items. Sometimes they like it and sometimes they don't like something that you give them. So it's kind of interesting to see what they like. Some parrots have individual preference. Um, some like certain colors and different items to play with. Um, some of them will like to shred items and some of them like to chew wood. So it just depends on the bird. For more information about brilliant bird brains, visit the zoo's website at www.houstonzoo.org. For Animal Magnetism, I'm Stacy Hawkins.